Burglars get away with more than 100 cell phones. They broke into two local Sprint stores twice in a matter of 48 hours. But it's what police think they are going to do next that has them worried. 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plake reveals why you need to be on the lookout. This was a smash and grab. You can see the plywood still here on the front of the store. Now more than 100 stolen devices are out on the street. Police want you to be on the lookout so that you're not scammed. In this surveillance video, you see three young men ransacking a Sprint store off of 350 Highway in Raytown early Sunday morning. Diving in through the windows and smashing cabinets, the suspects got away with more than 100 iPhone 7s, iPads, and Android phones. The monetary value that was stolen, or that was... Uh... It added up pretty quick when you start, when you think about cell phones, you know, being $700 a piece. Raytown police say the same suspects burglarized another Sprint store in Kansas City off Sterling Avenue before they targeted Raytown. Then, two days later, they came back for more. Sprint employees at the Raytown store saw the second burglary happen in real time via a live camera feed. The total loss is around $100,000. These devices are kind of unique because they are right out of the Sprint store, so they're still in a box. It's not as if I was selling you my phone after I uh, wiped it clean. Um, these these appear to be brand new phones that that uh, haven't been uh, just hadn't been activated yet. Sprint deactivated all the stolen devices. Now police are warning you to be aware if you're looking to buy a phone from somebody else or social media. Take the phone with the seller into the Sprint store and have a, a Sprint associate check the serial number to make sure it's a uh, good device that they can activate. That's good advice. Now here's another look at those suspects. Police are looking for three black males in their 20s. Uh, they were at the Sprint stores in Raytown at 350 Highway, also in Kansas City off Sterling Avenue.